Because of the trade war between China and the US, Huawei and Google's partnership was threatened, and in order to stay relevant in the smartphone industry, Huawei introduced its own mobile operating system, Harmony OS, just in case it got banned from using Android. Harmony OS was introduced last year when the US ban on Huawei was intense, and although Huawei said it wasn't meant to replace Android and was only on their Internet of Things ecosystem, they kept working on making it a mobile operating system that might replace Android on Huawei phones in the future if the need arises. Well, that future is here, as Huawei CEO announced in its developers conference that starting next year, all Huawei phones will be updated to Harmony OS 2.0 which is the second iteration of what was introduced last year. And its 2021 smartphones are gonna launch with its proprietary Harmony OS and not Android. Now, the big question is, does Huawei have what it takes to shake up the dominance that Apple and Google has had for years with iOS and Android? As we know, some companies have tried to create their own mobile operating system to go against iOS and Android. Microsoft tried with Windows for Mobile and failed terribly. Samsung made Tizen with hopes of detaching itself from Google, but that was also a flop on smartphones and is now only used in its IoT devices. BlackBerry OS basically died out of the market, and others like WebOS pretty much died before gaining any traction. But with Harmony OS, things might actually be different. They might actually pull it off and be the third major mobile operating system. Because the reason why other operating systems failed was the lack of developer support for their platform. For an operating system to succeed, developers must be willing to code their apps specifically for that platform. And what compels them to do that is if there's a big enough user base for that platform, and Huawei has that in abundance. They recently surpassed Samsung to become the world's largest smartphone maker, shipping 105 million units in the first half of 2020 alone. And their operating system has a reach of hundreds of millions of users, so they have the user base to compel developers to code for their platform. But the other problem is, most of that user base is in China, and Western applications are not allowed in China. That leaves the user base outside China at a not so great number, and Western developers might not be compelled enough to move their apps over to the new platform. Although, within China, Huawei can convince developers to bring their apps to Harmony OS, but outside China, nobody's gonna buy a phone that doesn't support their favorite apps like YouTube and Instagram. Although, Huawei claims its HMS Core, which is its counterpart to Google Play services, now has 96,000 apps and is supported by 1.8 million developers, which is quite impressive. And one good thing about this new operating system is its cross-platform functionality, which means developers just have to create one app which will work across different devices like TV, smartwatches, and smartphones. The SDK of Harmony OS 2 for smartphones is gonna be available in December, and the smartphone running this OS will be available next year. Let me know what you think about Harmony OS in the comment section below. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more tech related videos. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.